Hello, my name is Steve and this is Affinity Designer Quick Tips. So let's get started. Perfect. So for this quick tip, I'm using the version of Affinity Designer 1.8.3. I decided to start these kind of uh, quick videos and when I show one, one or two things uh, that I use and how I do it. So this one is basically when you want to make an arc from a line and you want to move um, the handles of one of the nodes, uh, two of the handles at the same time. First of all, if I right click, you'll see a green dot and if I left click, you'll see a red dot and any keystrokes will see it here uh, at the bottom left of the screen. So let's get first our pen tool. So I'm going to click, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag and click. So I got a line. Now I want to put another node in in between these two so i'm coming here i'm going to select my node tool and i'm going to put it somewhere there it doesn't matter i want to first on the on the center so i click and drag to select everything let's go to our align panels and we can choose align and the align horizontally spread uh, horizontally so it's right in the middle then always with my node tool i'm going to click hold shift and drag Sorry, I'm going to just select this one. I'm going to hold shift, click and drag. So I move it in a straight line and I'm going to move it something like that. Now, I want to make this node actually a, a curve, not a straight. So you can go to the top here at the contextual toolbar and you can hit one of these buttons. That button there in the middle makes it smooth or you can hold control, click on that node and will make it smooth. Now, if I want to move, or let me deselect that, or if I want to take these handles and move them both at the same time, as you can see now, I can just move only one. Let me reset that. I hold control, click in one of the handles and drag, and you can see both are actually moving at the same time. If you don't want to do that, hold shift also and drag it until you have the arc. Okay, let me show you back again with another line. So, okay, so if you want to see where the line is going, the best way to go is, or something that you can set, um, actually set, if you go to mode, you go to the last icon that is the rubber band. So what happened is if I click in there, as you can see, it makes that line, it seems like a rubber band. So if you hit shift and I'm going to put it anywhere, it doesn't matter and escape and now select your node tool put it anywhere click and drag to select everything let's make it put it on the middle let me select only this one hold shift click and drag anywhere it's fine click and hold control and click on the on the node to make it smooth smooth keep control hold click on the um, on the handle. Now, if you don't want to move it like this, just only restrict to horizontal one, hold shift and drag it and you make the arc. Okay, I think that's it for this quick tip. Uh, if you have any other questions, any other tips, I'm going to, or my idea is to create this once a week with small little tips, small little things that happen and I discover every time that I'm using the software that lately I'm using it quite a lot, sorry, in, the, in my professional capacity. So don't forget to subscribe, leave any comments in the section down below. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.